Yo, what's going on everyone? Mega Man here with a review of SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake and this video will include spoilers. First up, I want to start with the story. I haven't played a SpongeBob game in a minute, but I enjoyed it. SpongeBob ends up buying what he thinks is magic bubble soap. In actuality, it's mermaid tears that belong to King Neptune from this lady named Cassandra, which means you already can tell they're stolen. Once he got home, he made some wishes while blowing the bubbles from the tears, and that was a mistake. It caused people and things to get pulled into different worlds and universes. I just really like how each one was unique and fun in their own way. For example, there's a pirate world where you run into the Flying Dutchman, a spooky Halloween one where Gary is a big snail monster, a western world where Mr. Krabs is of course being greedy, and many more. Besides Bikini Bottom, there's a total of seven different places that you'll be able to go to and visit. They could take around about 30 minutes to an hour or a little bit more. It just depends on what you're doing. If you're just running through the level, maybe 30 minutes or less. If you're collecting stuff, maybe about an hour and so. When you go to these different worlds, you'll see some familiar characters, but they're slightly different. Squidward being a director, Sandy being a sheriff, and many other mixes. You go around finding your friends and also helping the people in that world. Each time you return from your adventure, you go talk to Cassandra because she has you collect this jelly, which later she tries to use against you and everyone because she wants to take over the world. Overall, story was pretty cool and it was fun playing through it. In the game, there's various things that you can collect and find. For example, there are coins which unlock tiers of costumes that you can buy. The coins can be hidden pretty well or easy to find depending on your situation. And to purchase the costumes, all you need to do is collect jelly, which isn't hard to find. Sometimes they'll just be around. You have to break these like sculpture looking things and also fighting enemies. The costumes are familiar ones that you remember from different episodes you may have watched. I just really like the option of them giving you the choice what you can wear throughout the game. The costumes are separated. You have the DLC ones, costumes from playing the story, and then just buying the rest as you collect coins to unlock the tiers to purchase them. Once again, there will be other stuff that you can be on the lookout for that other characters want you to find for them. The combat and gameplay is pretty straightforward. You got a melee attack, karate kick that comes in handy. If an enemy's on a platform or anywhere you need to jump at all, it'll get you there and deal damage to that enemy. There's a mood that throws a bubble that captures some enemies or affects objects, a ground slam, and being able to swing around. The other fun stuff in the game, they have a bubble board in some circumstances that let you surf to a certain point. The seahorse, something that SpongeBob actually gets a license in, lets you travel around in some of the worlds, and a reef blower that is really good to use against enemies. When you visit each world, these moves and things will unlock, so it isn't there from the beginning, which doesn't really bother me. It adds the replay value, especially for those that like to go back and collect stuff. Because there will be collectibles that you won't be able to get because you have to have a certain move. A few things I seen pop up was on a couple of the levels, it lagged or paused a little when moving around, and when SpongeBob respawned in one of the levels, he popped up in the same dangerous spot and then respawned in a safe area. This will probably get patched and updated, but just like any other game, some people may experience the same problems, others may have them while others don't. For me, it wasn't too much that I seen happen besides what was mentioned. Overall, I think it's a good game. It's nothing too serious, just something to sit down and have fun playing. Whether you watch the show or not, you'll still be good to play it, but if you have watched the show, there are plenty of references from some episodes so that you'll notice as you play through it. Chocolate, chocolate, finally chocolate, my leg! SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake is about $40. Now, is it worth it? I say if you're a SpongeBob fan or you haven't played a SpongeBob game in a while, it's a good pickup. If you're someone who's on a fence about it, I say wait for it to go on sale. There's nothing wrong with waiting for a price to go down on the game. Whatever choice you make, whether you buy it right away or you wait for it to go on sale, it is a good pickup and a fun game to play. Here's some more gaming content to check out. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.